Hey guys, Brent Hull here. Uh, we just finished recording the Passion for Crap podcast. In case you don't know, we started a podcast late last year and we're into episode 12 or 13 or something. Uh, we had Gary Katz on this weekend and he was awesome. Very inspiring. Uh, the reason we're doing Passion for Craft, the reason I'm doing this is to raise the bar for craftsmen out there. How do you do it? You know, how do you get better? What does getting better look like? And so Gary is a great inspiration. His early career, his building and working on apartments where he's getting paid $6 to hang a door is just kind of crazy to me, but it also also taught him production methods that made him much better later and made him a great teacher. So come check it out. I want you to be inspired by Gary, uh, one of my long dear friends, and you know, he's just so energetic and awesome. So come check it out. Really, I want to give people chance to get to know you, but also just kind of your secret sauce to success. Um, and in that, I remember your stories about, uh, you know, doing, uh, trimming out apartment buildings and, you know, the speed that you had to learn and, you know, what you learned in that process. Can you tell everybody about that? Um, I think the first thing everybody has to learn is how to fail hmm. and enjoy it. Nice. You know, yeah. because if you don't, if you don't enjoy it, then you don't learn from it. And almost everything we do in the field is pretty much, not all of it, but most of it is learned through failure. And, and the apartment building thing is a really good example of it because we really didn't know what we were doing when we took our first big building. I think it had like a hundred units or something like that. And, you know, we had to, we had to think or swim right away. And we failed a little bit at the beginning using techniques that we'd used in custom homes that you just can't, you can't do because you're getting paid six or $7 a pre-hung door. You're getting paid 20 or 30 cents a foot for baseboard. You're getting $10 a shelf for closet, you know, closets and stuff. It's just like, you can't afford that. So you've got to come up with really like, you have to really think about it. And that's the cool part about, I think our, our profession, you really have to learn from your mistakes and you have to be constantly examining what you're doing. And it's like self-examination. It's like the best part of life in a way. You know, you, you look at your procedures or your, or your methodology, you know, if you're into like lean philosophy where you're constantly trying to eliminate waste and, and kind of like uh, smooth out the wrinkles and stuff like that. That's, that's what the finished thing was all about. We figured out how to measure closets very quickly with a stick. You know, we ended, we figured out <laughs> systems for scattering pre-fit doors and installing them really fast. You know, we, we figured out just a, a lot of stuff the hard way, but we turned it into a really profitable business. And I think it was really important because when we, when the economy changed and we started doing more custom homes, you know, first there were tract homes, which really was really helpful having done the apartment building. But yeah, then yeah. when we started doing custom homes, we started integrating some of those same production techniques when we were doing custom high end work and, and it was effective and it, it made the whole job site more efficient, more productive. It made all of us feel more confident, you know, and secure and it pleased our clients and our contractors that we work for. So, you know, I really believe you're right. You've got to stick your foot in everything, not just your toe. You know, you got to go all in and do the production work and do the remodels and do the new construction, you know, as well as, you know, and you and I'll, I'm sure, get into this subject, as well as study the, the cat, the craft, the architecture, the, the history, you know, and have an appreciation for that, too. Well, Brent was kind of saying earlier, you're the godfather. And now I, you know, young guy like me who you know, goes on the internet and types in something carpentry related. I mean, you're the one that comes up, how to hang a door, how to do crown molding. It, it, it was always you. So one thing I liked about the way you did stuff was that you were always so methodical. Like you, you just, it was just no fluff. This is like, this is what you're doing. This is how to do it. And now hearing your story about the kind of efficiency boot camp and everything you've been through it, it makes sense why you're you've mastered the trade really 
Well, we had guys that worked for us, you know, and I think that was a large part of how the methodology evolved. When you have a crew, you have to teach them how to do stuff. And you learn real quick that you can't allow anybody to do stuff different than the way everybody else is doing it. Everybody's got to have the same step-by-step -step system for everything in order to be seriously efficient and to make sure that you don't have any callbacks. That's like, ugh, you know, you can't mm -hmm. have a door that doesn't close or latch or something. You can't have cracks in your crown molding after it's installed, you know, that kind of stuff. And so you come up with systems to protect yourself against each one of those eventualities. And, and after a while, you know, I, I realized, wow, this is something maybe other people aren't doing. Maybe they're not making cut lists for baseboard and crown molding and stuff like that, you know? And so it all became part of the overall system, you know, that I was teaching guys on our crew. And it, it was just kind of like a natural progression to start doing it. Are you encouraged by the state of craft with Carpenter? Are you, you know, you, you have a negative view of it? Where, where are you at on that? I would say I'm a little bit more on the positive side than you are. <laughs> you know, <laughs> recognizing that you have, since I met you, you know, you've been on this like mission to turn the tide. And, and every time I meet you and speak with you, and even just a few months ago when I saw you in Texas, you know, it was the same Brent, you know, like I'm losing. Kind of like you had this like, this like your mission was so motivated partly because you felt like you were losing, you know what I mean? You were losing the fight or something. But I kind of look at Instagram and YouTube as, look at this, look at the massive change that's occurred in our industry. There are so many people that were out there all along that, like I said earlier about that guy, the guys with the mental piece that really just don't know any better, but they want to know, they just don't know how to find out. Now, today, it's so much easier to find out. You know, that stuff is so much more available. And, and I think it's really so cool because the guys who are providing really good information on YouTube and, and Instagram, they've got hundreds of thousands of followers. And that is such a sign and such a signal of, all right, there's somebody that's truly valuable that's offering some really good information, you know? Yeah, sometimes you got to be careful. you got to sift through a little bit. Sometimes it's not cutting edge, you know, sometimes <laughs> it's flat wrong, but hey, yeah. you know, I've written articles and published stuff that was flat wrong too. But, you know, what, you can't, you know, you can't, you can't beat yourself up for making mistakes, you know, but anyway, Absolutely. I think we're on, the, the, let's call it the road, the road to recovery. <laughs> if that's the, the way, you know what I mean? Describing how you've always felt like, oh my God, you know, we're, we're in the pit or something. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. That episode will be coming out this Friday on Patreon. In case you don't know, we've got the Passion for Craft podcast. It's on Patreon, early releases, and then it'll be released on Spotify and Apple after that. At the journeyman level, you get access to my library, which is a curated look at my library. So it's kind of fun to uh, share that information and, you know, help everybody raise their game. So check it out. Thanks for watching. I'm Brent Holt.